All right, what's going on, you guys? Did here again. Want to do a new video for y'all? So my dad has another house, and there were some people that were living in there, and they ended up leaving. And when they did, they ended up leaving a bunch of stuff. My dad found a bunch of DVDs and crap like that, some shoe boxes and stuff. Um, so here's the crap that he ended up finding. Here we go. So let's just start off. Some piles of stuff, and then this Nike shoe box of other stuff. Let's go ahead and just look in it and see what we got. First off, we got this beautiful Alien Legacy box right here. Too bad there really ain't nothing in it. It's got the second film. This is the DVD version. It is in fact the original aspect ratio, so that's good. It's not some totally dumbed down version of the movie, but there you go. In the end, that is the only Aliens film in this set, so that sucks. At least that box is pretty, right? Does me no good. I'd rather go buy the Blu-ray Quintology and get all five of them. We also have the Adam Sandler Collection, which consists of, apparently, School of Rock, which is Jack Black, Brooklyn's Finest, which isn't Adam Sandler, and Cadillac Man, Running Scared, and The Couch Trip. I'm sure none of which involve Adam Sandler. Yep. But does that Robin Williams? So yeah. Another box. Apparently supposed to have Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, and Bulletproof. They're not in here. So there's that. Additionally, we have Grandma's Boy. Now I've heard so much about this because I've, I've never actually seen this movie. And uh, my friends are always giving me crap because, dude, it's about a guy who dreams of being a you know, video game developer. He lives in his grandma's basement or something like that, and it's super duper funny. So I guess I'll finally watch it. I think it's also a pretty big pothead movie, but, you know, whatever. So there you go, Grandma's Boy. I guess I finally got it. Hopefully the disc is in there and it ain't scratched. Uh, it's freaking scratched to hell. Oh, well. I'll figure out a way to watch it sometime. This is the unrated version. Are these even in here? Running scared. This one's okay. That's missing an entire DVD apparently. How about this one, Brooklyn's Finest. Nope, that doesn't even have one. And it's a freaking blockbuster case of that. So that I don't even have that movie. School of Rock. That's not even in there. So <laughs> check the Aliens film. This is actually Alien Resurrection. This is the, actually the fourth film. So yeah, these are all skewed up. All right. So in addition to those, I've got uh, chocolate. Now this actually looks like it'd be pretty good. It's got some actors I don't know, and then Johnny Depp. So, that'd probably be pretty cool. Oh, if I actually had the movie. And if the... You see what I'm getting at here? This is, this is, this is whack. Here we go. Four film favorites. Got Twister on Blu-ray already. That was actually the second Blu- That was the first Blu-ray I ever watched that I owned. I, first I ever watched was iRobot. Poseidon, Outbreak, The Perfect Storm. These look like they're probably here. Outbreak. Reverse side is Poseidon. I don't know. This is probably supposed to be a two DVD set. And it has one DVD here. So either way, this thing is scratched to F in hell. So probably won't work anyway. The Wizard of Oz. That's not in there either. But I do actually have like a good, like complete special edition copy of The Wizard of Oz. So this actually had me really excited. Def Jam Music Group, Inc. 10th year anniversary. Now I'm a big hip hop head, so this kind of stuff to me is really, really cool. Let's see what all is on here. CD1, CD3, CD2, apparently it's lacking CD4, that sucks. But then in here it's got this booklet. What's in here? Here's what's on the CDs, CD1. I'll just pause each of these so you guys can read them as you see fit. Looks to be a pretty damn good CD there. CD2, CD3, and CD4. So in the end, you get lots of Public Enemy, you get lots of LL Cool J, you get lots of BC Boys, lots of Slick Rick, EPMD. Not a bad set altogether. So there's definitely uh, several tracks that I haven't heard on there. So that'll give me at least a few CDs to listen to. 
Hopefully these aren't scratched to hell. These are also pretty scratched to hell, but whatever. That seems to be the general trend here. So now we have this Nike box. Let's see what all we got in this Nike box. 28 days later and 28 weeks later. Double feature 2 DV set. These are in fact in here. These are both full screen versions, so I won't be watching them. Now I gotta go trade that in somewhere. Jack and Dexter. Now this, see, now how are you gonna, see, they've got this fine. Disc isn't totally bad, looks like it's got a booger on the top there. Booger. But apart from that, it at least has the original quote-unquote manual, which the cool thing about the manual for this game is that it's also a big fold-out poster with Jack and Daxter flying through the air. So that's always been pretty cool about this particular manual. Not a bad poster. So, at least they have that going for them. And the disc, like I said, isn't too scratched to hell once I get that booger off it. Rygar, the legendary adventure. I don't know crap about this. Featuring epic original soundtrack by the Moscow International Symphony Orchestra and soprano singer Izzy Cooper. Inspired by Greek mythology, this adventure takes you through vast ancient worlds of fantasy and legend where good and evil collide. The almighty disc armor becomes the essential tool in your quest for victory. As you swing and slash your way through breathtaking worlds and legendary enemies to rescue Princess Harmonia and restore peace to the island of Argus. Argus is a beautiful place to visit and Rygar's time has most certainly come, says EGM. Absolutely stunning in every way. Action game of the year, according to play. Techmolink.com so, Rygar, I don't know anything about this. Apparently it's a Tecmo game, though. Probably has some good graphics in. And does have the manual still. So I actually still got a Tecmo registration card. Disc doesn't really have anything on it. Finally, no boogers. No scratches. No boogers. Let's see what else we got. Candyman and Pumpkinhead. Ashes to Ashes. Does have Candyman Special Edition. Does have pumpkin head, ashes to ashes? Let's see. Very few scratches on that one. Pumpkin head. Uh, just some smears. It's got a bunch of condensation type of crap on it. Oh shit, dropping stuff, breaking it. Come on now. But the important part is anamorphic widescreen. Anamorphic widescreen. I'll watch them. You're gonna watch them in full screen BS. Half my movie. Rent as many DVDs as you want. Netflix promotional free trial with a copy of SSX3. I could not be happier opening a freaking case. It's scratched to hell, but I could not be happier than seeing a freaking copy of SSX3 for the PS2. That's pretty dope right there. All right, we got some more video games. Soldier of Fortune Gold Edition. New multiplayer maps. Um, so this is a case that's already gotten a bite bitten out of it. No manual. Game is all gummed up. Looks like it's got a smear ring. So, this makes me wonder if this is just a port of the original game or if this is something more. Uh, if you never played Soldier of Fortune, it's pretty cool. Um, it's really violent. Like, you turn a corner and shoot a guy with a shotgun and his intestines will fall out. It's pretty damn dope. That seems to be the running trend. They've got a good sense of... Uh, bodily harm in the game it's pretty good spy hunter that's intact disc isn't that bad ps2 will probably read it so there you go good old spy hunter got some dvd features on there for bonus stuff pretty cool i never played the new spy hunter i played the original arcade stuff but i never played the new one holy crap they got a copy of frequency holy shit Oh, shit. Not bad. So, for those who don't know, this is the original game the Harmonix worked on. Before they did Amplitude, you don't get, you, I don't worry, I know you guys have no idea what the hell that is. Before they did Guitar Hero, before they did Rock Band, before they did, what do they do? Dance Central, is that what they do? Before they did any of that crap, there was Frequency. It was the best damn game they ever did. You... you but play that shit. Play that shit. And Ace Combat 4, Shattered Skies. This is kind of cool because I actually used to have this game and I gave it to a buddy of mine. So I guess this sort of just comes around full circle. 
It's my copy wasn't scratched to hell and at least had a manual, but there you go. It's in there. All right, some more goodies. Here is a Rush Hour Trilogy plus Money Talks, another Chris Tucker, so obviously a Chris Tucker collection. Open it up. God, these look terrible. These look like freaking adult video store rentals or something. They're freaking scratched to garbage like no one gave a damn. <laughs> They're in there. They're scratched to shit. They won't play. Might as well just find some place to chuck this. Alright, here we go. Now we got some smaller looking stuff. Looks like video games. We got a manual for a Rogue for Rainbow Six Rogue Spear for the Game Boy Advance. Got a manual for Smuggler's Run for the Game Boy Advance. I bet that actually wasn't that bad. I'm curious. Let's, let's stop. What is uh what's the graphical style for this game? Do they show any screen caps? I bet this could actually be pretty cool. Eh. Yeah, it's one of those. Might actually be that cool. Hmm. Interesting. Well, at least give it to some game store. Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance. I don't have this game. Hmm. Charlie Wilson's War. I don't know anything about that, but it is the original anamorphic version. Still Scratch to Hell. What else we got here? Uh, Sasha at Circus. Okay. And then here we got this, this two CDs. What? What dumbass store CDs like this? You freaking put them. Why would you put them like that? They're supposed. To, uh, you're supposed to protect that side. You idiots. Apparently, this is some custom CD from some dude named Gons on SoundCloud. I'm not supporting him. And the Dream, Vicky, whatever the hell that is. Who stores CDs like that? So that they're other freaking direction. These people drive me insane. What the hell? All right, here we go. Let's see. The Great Gatsby Deluxe Edition. Music from Baz Luhrmann's film. Interesting. Okay. And again, it's just some bootleg crap in the side of it. Marcus Schultz. Marcus Schultz. It's weird. It's a nice artwork, though. Same as ain't no disc in there. All right, let's see what else we got. Ah, we got a Metroid Fusion manual. I do have this game. I do have this one, so that's cool. I'll hold on to this little bad boy. Um, another CD. No idea what could be on here. But these are CDs, so it's probably music. The girl was into uh, DJing and electronic music and stuff, so I'm just surprised she doesn't take any sort of halfway decent crap about her stuff. Maybe they were his, who knows. Alright, Smuggler's Run. So the game is in here. So I will have a chance to try that out if I care to. Warner Brothers Quest for Camelot. A game adaptation of the film. This is a Game Boy Color game that will also work in a Game Boy. That's why it has that black design on it. Additionally, we have... Ah, here we go. A game I don't have. Game & Watch Gallery 2. And the label isn't all crapped up because they kept it inside this little case. So sweet. Game & Watch Gallery 2. Ah, here we go. Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3. This is a pretty cool game. One of the few games that if you put it into a uh, Game Boy player, it will actually rumble the controller, so that's pretty cool. Um, and only about three games do that. But cool. I uh, used to have this one. I was thinking about maybe getting it again. I'll probably still trade it in, who knows, but there you go. Pretty cool. Alright, now let's get to some good stuff. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, here we go. For starters, we got Parasite Eve, dog. Manual's still in there. Still got the collector CD. Please don't let these be scratched to hell. Oh. Oh, there really isn't even anything on that one. Disc 2 for Parasite Eve. Oh. Nothing. Disc 1 for Parasite Eve. Oh, there's nothing on these. Oh, that's dope. Okay, cool. There's a PlayStation game I don't own. Xenogears. Nice. Okay, manuals in there. That's a cool freaking piece of artwork. Check the disc. Does have scratches all over it, but it'll probably still work in a PS3, for example. Those higher quality lenses. And the disc. That is cool. Huh. Some artwork. Second disc is not nearly as bad. Just a few scuffs on this side, as you can see. 
Very cool. So there's Xenogears, Parasite Eve, and ba-boom! Second copy of Silent Hill. Not bad. The original for the PS. For that play station. Very nice. Disc is pretty scratched up, but it'll work just fine in the PS3, I'm sure. Very cool. Very cool. It has some, some more sought-after games in this pile. We got a game with color. Doesn't turn on. It feels heavy like it has batteries. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, hell. Oh, it's over the battery cover. Best if installed before March 2003. Oh, boy. Yeah, who knows how long those have been in there. Purple Game Boy Color, though. That's kind of cool. Um, I'll have to go through and take those batteries out and try cleaning out the gunk with some sandpaper or something and see if it still works. It very well might. Who knows? That's cool, though. Let's see. Some more games tucked in the corner here. Doom! For the Game Boy Advance. Eh. Ah, official PlayStation memory card. Blue one. This is just like the very first one that I ever owned way back in 98, 99, somewhere in there. So, cool. Add this one to the pile. I've got plenty of PlayStation memory cards, but I could use some more. Always. And some other, probably, games. Here we have Track and Field... Words I can't even read because they're crappy garbage font. No, I guess that's it. Track and Field 2000. I guess those aren't actual words. They're probably just stylistic streaks. Pure Adrenaline. That might be kind of fun in a four-player environment. Trying to do these runs and biking and crap. I have to try and drag some players, drag some friends to play with me. Spec Ops Ranger Elite for the PS... Scratches on it. Deep one in that top corner. Okay. Spec Ops is a pretty long-running franchise, but really not anything to write home about. Jedi Power Battles. Uh, this game is crap on the PlayStation. It's a fun game, but it just has a lot of flaws. Um, I actually traded my copy in, and I got a Dreamcast version instead, so I will just do the same and just trade this version in. Apparently they bought it from EB Games for 20 bucks back in the day. I think I have the, place. I think I have the Dreamcast one. Do I? There you go. Yeah, I do have the Dreamcast one. 15 bucks from a local store. Woo! So, anyway. Siphon Filter 2. Now, hopefully this is intact because I'm... Hear my disappointment? Hear that exhale of disappointment? Massive ass blockbuster sticker. It's supposed to have the original 2D de two dual cage design. It doesn't. It's got this one here. I was saying, hopefully these discs actually work because I... My disc one is broken from a copy that I fought, that I found sometime a long time ago at a Hollywood video, in fact. So there you go, Siphon Builder 2. Either way, I've got these on. I've got all three of these on the PlayStation, and a copy of NFL Blitz for the PlayStation. That's kind of fun. Now, obviously, you should play Blitz on the 64. Um, I have the first one on the Dreamcast. That's an even better system to play it on. Um, so cool. Disc isn't too crappy of a shape. Um, honestly, I'll probably just trade this one in. I think Blitz is one of the few football games that are old people go back to, besides like Tecmo and stuff back on the NES. So there you go, guys. This box is empty. All this crap, all this stuff, this is all pretty much worthless, save for maybe Grandma's Boy, and that's about it. Uh, I guess I'll do something with these cases, either donate them to some place or put some of my own discs in them or something. They're all just freaking empty, so... Anyway, though, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will catch y'all later, and peace. Boom.